Do you get a little queasy inside? Be honest. So what do you do to fix that? You look for some advice, right? Lots of questions around authenticity, uh, being yourself, being confident, competent, comfortable. So after a while, I realized I had an obligation to answer those questions, key concepts. To make a big impact on camera, you've got to have three things. You've got to have passion, personality, and energy. We're going to talk right now about personality because this is the area where I had a big breakthrough that will make all the difference for you. Um, it's also the part that's both easiest and hardest to get across. It's easy because fundamentally you can't change it. Um, there are just things about you that you're not even aware of that will come out on camera. Is they're playing one key of their own personality. The key they play determines how the audience will respond. Now you begin to, to see the real problem. We, you know, we end up approaching the camera with feelings of guilt mixed with shame and embarrassment because, you know, we have to be ourselves. It's actually quite simple. Believe me, if it weren't, I couldn't do it. The solution is roles. You see, all these things I just talked about, these are all just roles, and we play many of them every day. But when it comes to camera, there are only a few roles we really need to choose from. One that a lot of our clients use is the teacher. Now, the characteristics of the teacher have a lot to do with the underlying personality of the one doing the teaching. So um, a teacher breaks things down and puts them back together for you in a way that helps you see the light. But here's the really cool thing. There are all kinds of different teachers, right? Um, there's the hippie teacher, there's Sister Mary Margaret with her ruler at the ready, uh, and there's everyone in between. All of them will work. The counselor. This is another big one for our clients. The counselor is a guide to helping you make better choices, uh, to understand your problems. A person who has infinite patience with imperfection. If this is the personality you're supposed to bring to video, I'm almost willing to bet you'd have little need to turn it off when the camera stops rolling. Now this works because there's a tremendous freedom in using roles instead of performance tricks. In a way, roles are just the highway you travel down. Who you are on that trip is up to you, two parts of the system. You add the passion by connecting to your big why, then you calibrate your energy and get yourself in sync with your value proposition. So there's never a disconnect between who you are, what you say, and who you seem to be. So do you see how just being yourself is a, is a totally inadequate solution to the challenge of being on camera? Just show your flaws, they say. Oh, God. See, our imperfections, they say, make us human. And that's partially true, of course. But never forget, it's our values and aspirations that make us fully alive. I want you to be alive on camera that work for you. This is the single best way to make being on camera an easy, comfortable, and compelling process for you and your audience. There's no need for you to avoid this or, or go through years of struggle to get the kind of power and control over the medium that so many of us now enjoy.